Hey guys, Sock here from Sock Ticket. In today's video, we have some amazing news in relation to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And also we have some potentially disappointing news. So we're gonna talk about everything, but the pieces of the puzzle are coming together slowly. And we are in fact getting a clearer picture of what to expect when the phone gets released in February. So first, let's talk about the awesome news. There has been a leak and in this leak, we are notified that the maximum peak brightness of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is going to be record breaking. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has a maximum peak brightness of 1500 nits. The iPhone 13 Pro Max has a maximum brightness of 1200 nits. The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is going to have a maximum peak brightness of 1,750 nits. This is incredible. It is going to be the phone with the brightest display ever. Now, why is that important? That is important in real world because that's what makes sure you see your screen under direct sunlight or in daylight. So if you're in a highly bright area, the more bright the screen is, the more clear you get to see that screen. So this is great news. It is a practically useful feature in real life. So that's number one and that's fantastic. Now we also have a leak from Z Tech Gear, who's a YouTuber, but he also posted on his Twitter a spec sheet for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, which actually gives us brand new information, especially in regards to the camera. So. We knew that it's gonna have four cameras and we, we, we know already that it's gonna have a wide angle, 108 megapixel main camera. And then we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And then we have two telephoto cameras, 10 megapixels each capable of giving us 100 times hybrid zoom. And of course the front camera is 40 megapixels. But here's the new information. The main camera, the 108 megapixel camera is going to have what is known as the super clear lens. The super clear lens is going to be made out of gorilla glass. And by having this lens, it is going to reduce glare and reflections. And once the phone comes out, we'll see how that works out in real life. Personally, when I take a photo, uh, sometimes you got the sun in front of you, you take a photo of the river or whatever, and you'll see a little bit glare, a little bit reflection on the lens, on the photo that makes it looks a little low level. This is supposed to help with that. It's supposed to make the picture crystal clear. And that's why they have named it super clear lens. So again, a practically useful feature if it works as advertised in real life. Now on the same spec sheet, we can see that the battery is 5,000 milliamp hours. Now here's the disappointing part. It looks like, now this is the Exynos variant. These leaks, these spec leaks are for the Exynos variant. It looks like there's gonna be an eight gigabyte model, which I was not expecting. Uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, because it has the Ultra name, starts at 12 gigabyte RAM. But now it looks like the S22 Ultra starts at eight gigabytes RAM if you get the 128 uh, gigabyte model. And the very fact that there's a 120 gigabyte model is a little bit annoying to me because we don't have a micro SD card. So 128 gigabyte storage in this day and age is kind of ridiculous. I would expect it to be at least 256 gigabytes from a phone that claims to be ultra. Uh, but anyway, if you do get the 256 gigabyte model or the 512 gigabyte model, looks like you're getting 12 gigs of RAM. Previously, you would get 16 gigabytes of RAM with the top storage model. So now it looks like it's gonna be at 12. Now there's a small chance there's a one terabyte model. We have had leaks on that as well. And that might come with 16 gigabytes of RAM, but we're not sure if that's gonna happen or not. So that's a little bit disappointing that we get to start at eight gigabytes. So that's the disappointing part, but we also have on the flip side, another slightly good news uh, I'm saying slightly good news because other phones in this department uh, have already passed way ahead when it comes to charging. I'm talking about charging. So this phone has 45 watt charging capability that was taken away in the last couple of phones. Now it's back. So you're going to get a little bit 
faster charging than the 25 that is the standard but the 45 is going to be an option that you are going to be able to benefit from if you buy the charger all right so that's it in today's video maximum peak brightness of any phone in the market a super clear lens that is going to reduce the glare and reflections off of the photo making them even clearer than regular cameras regular phone cameras the disappointing eight gigabytes ram for the ultra model and the 45 watt charging so that's the new information that we have had so far any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right so if you found this video useful make sure to subscribe to Saki tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time i upload a new video and if you do use twitter instagram or facebook you can follow me at Saki tech online to get the latest updates as well all right have a fantastic day